So hello, welcome to the studio today. I'd like to show you something that we really haven't done before, and so you might be interested in this process and this technique. So this is going to be a mirror frame. So the frame that we are building in stained glass is going to go um, around a mirror, which is about 20 by 24 inches. And it's a standard uh, mirror frame size, so that's why we're working with that. So you've probably seen me put nails all around the perimeter of a window before, but oh my goodness, look at these nails. Like there's thousands. I didn't even count them. <laughs> I had to open a new box for heaven's sake. So what I did, usually, I think that I've told you before, is I'll put two nails on each piece. Well, obviously, they there would be like many, many nails. So I thought, in this case, let's just keep it simple, and I'm just going to put one nail on each piece. Now the reason I do put two nails on each piece, especially in the corners, is so that little corner won't veer off and get off. And we want it to be straight all the way across. And so that I did put two nails on this corner piece because I for sure wanted it to be, to come to a point here. So then I put nails all around the perimeter, one per piece, and some of them are just quite little. Oh, look, I missed that one. That's okay. <laughs> and then, so what's different about this is that I'm also going to go on the other side because this line also has to be flush. So I'm putting nails all the way around there too. So with this, I'm using horseshoe nails. So one side is flat. And with that side, I'm going to put that where it will be flush against the glass. Okay. And that will give me a nice line, hopefully, when we're finished. And keep it straight so that that mirror will fit in. So, all right, a little bit of the same going all the way around. But I wanted to show you that because that's just a, a different technique. And we will keep you posted as we work on oh, this. Welcome back. I've done a little bit more on this mirror frame. These are the colors that I am wanting in the frame. And so I'm kind of going off those colors. I've got this much cut out so far, and uh, we're still working on it, trying to get it, you know, a little bit the same, but different on each corner. So that's what we've got so far, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, it's David in the Stained Glass Studio, and I guess it's my turn to talk about this mirror framework. Um, I'm uh, Jeannie has cut all these pieces and foiled them all um, with a little help from a, a student and uh, so we're putting them together now. I'm just uh, putting soldering it up and it's uh, quite a bit of, uh, of work for to build this piece, um, lots of detail, lots of um, work goes into it. Jeannie is worried that um, that it might uh, try to accordion up when uh, when I get it soldered. But what I'm going to do is solder this bit of the front. Then I'll put a piece of uh, outer bar on this side, and that'll hold it from folding up. Then on the back, we'll do a piece of metal. So, I think this is all I wanted to show you right now, and then when we get it done, or when we get ready to start doing that fold-up part, we'll, we'll put a little strengthening on. This is a very interesting window for us because normally we don't we have an interior that we work with but uh, the client um, said she could get a, a window a mirror this size and so we're gonna let her put it in herself. They live in Indiana so this will get shipped out once we get it once we get it done. 
Okay, I've got this side tacked together, and now I'm putting nails underneath the glass so that I can raise it up a little bit so that these this uh, metal, which I've already uh, spread apart, will fit under. You see? Now, what I usually do on a window is I flip it over, and then the solder holds it up. But I can't do that here because uh, I'm only doing this much. So I can sort of see that. I'm going to solder this right to this edge. And then I'll put another one which is going to come over about like that. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. See right here, I've got this up here so you can see that this is a little bit raggedy. And then I'm just going to drag this down and place it I want it right there. So it's right over the edge. Now I'm going to tack this end.
down without breaking it. You see, so now that is going to form the lip for the for the mirror to rest on. Not much of a huh? Well, when you say not much of one. What are you talking about? It's a great big lip. Look at it. That will go there. And then I think I got it off here. So. Well, I'm back on the front side, and I, you see, on as I was doing these front pieces, I left a, a little bit of copper showing uh, just so that it wouldn't make a mess on the edge. So I'm now doing the that little bit. I'm soldering that that bit of copper that's showing just so that... Um, it'll have some place to accept the patina that we're going to put on. This is going to get a black patina. Um, and so I just, I'm just doing this top edge of, uh, okay, I'm on the back side again. Now I'm going to take these strips and I'll lay them about halfway over what's already there. So this will be the back edge where the mirror will sit. So just a bit of soldering back here. Kind of feel like an old fashioned tinsmith. If I use the back of my flux brush, I can hold it down while it hardens.
There we go. Okay, now I'll just go around and do these others. I think I'll go to the far side and do that one, and then put the two shorter ones on. Okay, we're back on the front side again, and you can see that I've got the little lip soldered in all the way around. Now what that'll do is allow me to place the mirror. Now this is just a piece of mirror that we've got, and I just want to show you how this fits in. Um, I've decided that I'm going to buy a piece of mirror and put it in place so that the client doesn't have to because uh, it's just, I think it might be difficult for somebody to do this if they're not used to it. But you see how the mirror fits in and sits on this lip. Now there will be a little bit of a gap along here and uh, hopefully when we put the the silicone in place that'll get filled in with the silicone and uh, and there you go now you see it's a little bit proud and of the mirror and I think that's a good thing it'll look like it's been framed so that'll be the way it it fits in place and we'll probably show you how that goes in um, and maybe that'll be in a different video because uh, man we've already spent two or three weeks on this on this project and we, we want to get this out there and so I think we'll do another one a follow-up on finishing the mirror okay see you next time